Right, okay, now what I've decided to do is create the activation script, so our new PHP page, before we send out the email, and then at least when we're writing the email, we're going to know where to send the um, person uh, that's registering. So in context, I'm going to start up a new page. I'm going to save this out straight away as, let's say, activate.php. Okay, now our headers are, are as usual, and what we're going to, what we're actually looking for is our um, session to start with. And when we log in, you can see that, um, or in fact, no. Um, what we do is um, we need we need to send out a bit of data. Firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to send out the ID of the user in the email, and we're going to send out the activation code. So what we can do is we can match up the ID to the activation code, and as long as the ID and the activation code of the newly registered user match, then we know that uh, the user has clicked the email address, uh, clicked the link in the email, and they're ready to activate. So what we need to do is we need to get the ID that's been submitted, and this is dollar underscore get ID, and we need the um, we'll just call it code, and that's dollar underscore get code. And what they're really going to do is the user's going to click a link that looks a bit like this: http colon forward slash local host um, forward slash. In this case, it's PHP Academy tutorials tutorials register. Or is it login register? Wait, hold on. E register login. Um, and then forward slash activate activate. I'm really bad at typing. It's weird. Okay, activate. And then we've got a question mark for um, starting off our um, our variables after this. And we're going to say ID equals and the user um, ID. And then we're going to have and code equals. And we're going to have our random code um, that was put into the database and generated. Um, so if this matches, uh, let's say, going to here, this. So we're going to say ID equals 10. So if this is 10 and then this code here, is equal to this number here. We know that this user here, who's just registered with the ID of 10, remember this is unique, has chosen this random number in the email, which has been generated for them, and we know that to activate their account. So we've got these two um, variables. We're going to say if, and we're going to run a block here with uh, our curly brackets. We're going to say if ID and code. Otherwise, we're going to kill the page and say um, data missing. Okay, and here we're going to echo out. Um, well, actually, no, we don't need to echo anything out. What we need to do is we need to connect to the database and sort this out. So above here, we're going to say uh, require uh, connect.php as we've been doing. And here we need to um, check the database. So our query check is going to be a MySQL query. And inside, we're going to select star from users where ID equals ID. Uh, make sure you put that in uh, uh, inverted commas. So where ID equals the ID that's been submitted through the uh, URL, like I showed you. And um, now, what do we call it inside the database? Um, random, we called it. So and random equals code, which is the code again that has been submitted through the uh, get variable in the header of our um, page in the URL. Okay, so um, as long as this condition is true, then our page uh, our page can be activated. And to do this, we're going to say check num, and this is going to be the MySQL um, number of rows that have been returned of our check query. So this check query here is this here. Basically what this is going to do, as I'm sure you may know already, is going to return the amount of rows returned by this. So as long as the ID and the code already match, then this will return a value. So it will say equals 10 and if it equals 10 here and it equals this random number here, then this um, result here will be returned and this will give this a value of 1. And now what we can do is say if check num equals equals one, run a block of code, otherwise invalid ID or activation code.
okay and then you can say please contact um, please contact so and so or whatever you'd like to do so if the check num does equal one what we need to do is we need to uh, run a query here to um, activate the account and to do that that is just um, we could just say activate or act e equals mysql query and it is update users set and we have activated here so we can copy and paste that in set activated equals and the magic number one meaning that has been activated um, and then we can say where id equals and our id so we're only updating where the id equals the id of the user that has submitted this query or submitted uh, the id and the um, login code and this is basically going to update it uniquely um, as the id is unique um, uh, this is the only user that's going to be um, um, activated so now what we can do is we can presume uh, that this has, has worked uh, you can stick or die on the end of it or whatever you'd like so we've um, activated the account with our MySQL query and now what we can do is kill the page and say your account is activated you may, oh, bad grammar you may now log in okay so um, we can't test this at the moment because we don't well but actually we can test it we can test it we just need to say so if we say activate.php now this is obviously going to return ooh, connect up PHP failed to open stream what's going on here okay maybe we haven't yeah we didn't include a, a separate connect file I didn't realize um, but if we grab our um, connect script here uh, and just copy it there um, let's go up and paste that in there uh, apologies uh, for that but um, instead of creating a separate page I have in fact added this in every single page which is mm, bad coding practice uh, but there we go let's run this again okay data missing uh, this means that we've got um, an ID here missing and we've got uh, a code missing okay so we need ID and code and what this is going to do is it's going to satisfy this and this and which means this block of code here we run and we're going to go in ahead and check the database for this data so if we look inside of the database um, you can see that activated is 0 um, ID equals 10 and our random code equals this so I'm going to copy this here ready to put in now bear in mind this will be done all automated through email this is going to be in the next part of the tutorial um, but for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up this page I'm going to set the ID as 10 like I said it was and the code is um, this code now what's going to happen is this whole um, code, this whole URL you see here um, is going to be um, put into an email um, op upon user registration and then the user will click this and obviously linking to this this is going to be their ID uh, the ID that they've um, registered with and the code that has been generated for them so if I press in fact if I uh, add a few uh, rubbish things in here press enter invalid ID or activation code which is exactly what we're expecting because uh, this doesn't seem valid let me just paste this back in there properly and my ID oh, paste that back in there my ID is 10 my code is that which does equal up to our database and when we press enter your account is activated you may now log in and now what I can do is I suggest you put a like a link to say uh, go back um, but I've got my index.php here if I log in Alex and Heden click login you're in so this must mean that inside localhost when I refresh this page activated will have changed to one so let's browse again okay and we go down and activated is one so this really is uh, just um, creating this script, but in the next part we're going to automate it by email. So I'll catch you guys then. Thanks for watching.